Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello. How Hello. are you? Hello. How are you today? Bye. Right. Thank you. Oh, great. So I'm glad to, you know, to be here with you. And also, I always congratulate you because of the responsibility you have to be here as the, in our English class. So how was your day? It was great? It was interesting? It was boring? How was your, tell me, how was your day? It was good? Excellent, very busy. So tell me about your day. Excellent. Excellent, all right. Excellent. Excellent too. Wow, that's that's cool. That's good to know that. So what else? What else? Yes. Only two students, three students, and the other students. Yes. Nobody else? More or less. Uh, Carla, what what do you say? More or less. More or less. So so, so like good and bad. So combination. Okay. Yes. So all right. So yeah, I know that there are some challenges, but we have to be very positive and also uh, motivated. That's something that we need to do. So let's start with this day, with this part of the nine, uh, our class with a great motivation. And I know that it's necessary to be and uh, very, very happy to be motivated to be always doing the best. So let's start today. And as I always ask, what we started in the class? What can you tell me? What do you remember we started in the class? I'm all ears. Okay, what else? A possessive adjective was one, but there are some others. What else? Possessive pronouns. Ah, possessive pronouns, okay. Okay, what else? Yes. Yes, yes, tell me. And also the possessive too. So, well, with this part, we are uh, working on this activity. We have the chance to work in some exercises related to the possessives. And we will continue working with these activities. So, but we will focus about the weather and the season. So we can see here some examples that I decided to share with you. Uh, about the possessive with the apostrophe s and s plus the apostrophe. So we were combining and um, both things. Uh, so for that reason, and this is actually what we have here, and I will explain you how it works. The first one says, look at the number one. That bird's beak is red and longer than the normal size. So you can see that we used specifically for possessive because we are talking about possessive. Entonces, eh, siempre que vamos a utilizar un posesivo, eh, utilizamos esta estructura. Vemos ahí la primera oración. Look at the first sentence. Eh, it says the burst beak is red on longer than the number size. En este caso dice que el pico de ese pájaro es rojo y más largo de lo normal. Entonces vemos ahí La posesión es el, el pico de qué? Del pájaro, right? Entonces hay una possession ahí. Y usamos el, el apóstrofe más la S. You say the, the bird's big. Also the number two, the Indian Ocean's water is less source. So the Indian Ocean, so the ocean's water, the ocean's water, el agua del océano. Entonces ahí también necesitamos utilizar un possessive. Para decir el agua del océano, en vez de decir 
the what the water of the ocean the water of the ocean no the ocean's water es mucho más nativo y, y es un possessive the ocean's water we bunk the math lectures class today lectures class es decir la clase you know the lectures y vemos ahí the lecturers and also we have the class today and also you can see the position about the Possessives, right? Vemos ahí el possessive y vemos we bunk. So that is the, po the point about this one. And also we have the number four, like the horses, the horse shoes. El zapato, you know, del caballo is tauter, es más duro de, de, que otros animales. So the horse's shoe, the horse's shoe. Es decir, el zapato del caballo. So Vemos ahí que está haciendo la función de un possessive. Horse's shoe. Number five, he's an animal husbandry is doctory. En este caso vemos ahí eh, el apóstrofe. And also the meaning about husbandry. husbandry. And also we are going to try to know in Spanish about this word because it's very common. En este caso, husbandry es como decir agricultura. Ese es el sinónimo de husbandry. He is a husbandry animal's doctor. En este caso, él es un animal, él es, perdón, en este caso, él es un doctor de animales de granja, por decirlo así. Animales de granja. Entonces, eh, vemos ahí, the husbandry is doctor. Vamos with the number six. My bike was punctured on the highway. Ahí vemos que ocupamos un possessive. Vemos un possessive my. ¿Qué tipo de posesivo es ese? My, my. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective, of course. It's a possessive adjective. Great job. And number seven, the doll's hair, hairs are red and shiny. Vemos que en este caso, pues... Eh, The, the doll's hairs are red and shiny. De, es decir, que el cabello de, del muñeco es, eh, son, o los cabellos, podemos decir, son rojo y brillosos, right? So we can see that. The doll's hairs. Number eight, the, the pants handle is very short. And also, vemos ahí pants and also handle. Number nine, cave is chicken. The cave is chicken. Davis is called Davis is called James book James book como vemos que está James y como James ya lleva una S de por sí solamente le agrego el apóstrofe ya no tengo que agregarle otra S porque ya va inmersa en la palabra es decir el libro de James James book solo vemos que está el apóstrofe ahí number 12 there is no children's doctrine el doctor de los niños, the children's doctor in our locality. And then we have the number 13, like the fragrance of the lily's flower. La fragancia de la flor de lily. Entonces vemos ahí el apóstrofe, lily's flower is sure. so good. Hi. O sea que en los nombres propios de las personas, este, solamente se le agrega el, el apóstrofe y la S. Eh, no, no, sí. Por ejemplo, James, como ya lleva una S en sí, en inglés el nombre es James. Entonces ya no tengo que estar agregándole otra S porque ya va inmersa. Entonces solo le pongo el apóstrofe y pues ya automáticamente eh, ya tenemos un possessive. Ok, teacher. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Por ejemplo, vemos el de Lily. Lily, pues, eh, como no lleva una S, tengo que agregarle el apóstrofe y la S. Lily's flower. Y tenemos ahí the Amazon's forest. The Amazon's forest. America's president. Es decir, el presidente de América, the America's president. And the number 10, Nora's uh, kitchen is looking nicer than mine. And also the number 17, I found the ball or colleges, backyard. En este caso vemos ahí como el patio del colegio. And the last one, 
We had a great time. Tuvimos un gran tiempo at Michael's wedding ceremony. En la boda de, de, de la, la, la boda de ceremonia o la ceremonia de la boda de Michael. Entonces decimos Michael's wedding ceremony. Entonces también es otra forma de hacer un possessive, right? Cuando, cuando usamos los sustantivos para posesivos. Es decir, el doctor de los niños, el libro de, de, de James, en este caso el presidente de América, eh, el agua del océano, el pico del pájaro, el pollo de KFC. So we can also uh, use a possessives as part of the examples here. And with the practice, we can learn about these structures. Ya con el tiempo vamos eh, aprendiendo un poquito más acerca de las estructuras. Yes. Much better. Questions, questions. Hello? No questions. No, no questions. Okay, perfect. Well, let's continue. Um, the advantage about these topics, lo importante de este programa es de que eh, posteriormente vamos viendo temas que a veces nos sirven como una retroalimentación. Es decir, vemos un tema, pero este tema siempre lo vamos a ir viendo a, a, a medida que vayamos avanzando con los siguientes temas, ya que los temas son como refuerzos. It's like a backup. So, vemos un tema, posiblemente lo veamos más adelante, ya con una estructura similar, o, o con mismo estilo, entonces vamos haciendo un, una retroalimentación in every single class. So, uh, this is one of the advantages we have. Well, so... Es acumulativo. Hola. Es acumulativo. Ya, yeah, es, 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 recuerden que es, es idioma, es continuo, es decir, todo el, es un proceso, es decir, una palabra que usted ve aquí la va a ver mañana y la va a ver pasado, and because it's a language, so we, we use all the time these structures. Okay, so we have here the weather and seasons around the world. And this is a great topic because we're talking about the weather. Um, and the question is, how's the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima? That is a good question. So for this, we have this one. Veamos, veamos el ejemplo. Um, it's spring in Brazil. And also the temperature, it's a little different. The temperature is it's fall in the U.S. It's warm and it's very sunny. And es una, una season. In English, we call season. What is the meaning in Spanish about the spring? ¿Qué significa spring? Uh, Primavera. Primavera. Exactly. Do we have a spring in El Salvador? Do we yes. have? Huh? No. 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 No, no spring, right? We don't have a spring in El Salvador. Okay, interesting. ¿Y cómo se puede representar? You can see, for example, um, it's warm. Que en este caso es como decir caliente. Es caliente, it's warm. And also, it's sunny. En este caso es como decir soleado, right? So, how's the weather like in El Salvador? How's the weather like? It's sunny? No, it's it's warm. It's warm and cloudy. Okay, so that's interesting. Vamos con el siguiente. Look at the next one. Uh, next to it's summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. So you can see that one. Look at that. It's summer in Korea. Uh, what is summer in Spanish? Uh, summer? Verano. 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 Okay. Verano. Yes, exactly. So that is summer. It's a um, question because it's important. Um, and uh, the question is, is uh, do we have summer in El Salvador? Summer. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yes, and also how do we, well, in Korea or in also United States, summer, it's raining and it's hot and humid. So it's uh, something also important to discuss. Entonces ahí vemos cómo se representa ese clima. The next one is, it's uh, fold 
in the U.S. And puede ser fold o autumn fold too. Y en este caso vemos um, the autumn. ¿Qué significa fall? Otoño. Exactly. Do we have a do we have fall in a in a Salvador? No. 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 no we don't have uh, on, uh fold in a Salvador, so we don't have. Okay. Yo pienso no. que sí existen, pero en periodos así bien cortitos. In El Salvador? Por ejemplo, en el, en el campo, ahorita podría decir que empieza la lluvia en la primavera. Y por allá por octubre es donde los árboles empiezan a botar todas sus hojas, es como el otoño. A characteristic. Yes. Okay, so it could be a characteristic. Obviously that we don't have uh, this uh, season, but there are some trees that experience this characteristic. Okay. And uh, como se representa in the US, the fold, it's cold and uh, it's cloudy and windy. Entonces, lao, nublado y con mucho viento. I would say in English cloudy. So we can see that. And the next one is winter in Russia. And look at in Russia, the example. We have, for example, and it's snowing and it's very cold. It's snowing all the time and it's very cold. Do we have a winter in El Salvador? No, no, no. No winter? Solo en Chalate. But we have winter in El Salvador. But winter is represented. Invierno. Invierno. Yeah. But winter in El Salvador, it's, it has a different characteristic. Right. Rainy. Yeah, instead of snow, we have rain, right? Entonces, en vez de la nieve, pues es la lluvia, right? It's raining. So, it, this is one of the characteristics in that case. Okay, so we can see, we can see this part here. And uh, what are the seasons in El Salvador? Summer and um, winter. Uh-huh, okay. Summer and winter, the, the, the seasons we have in the country. And uh, by the way, this is a general question. What is your favorite season? What is your favorite season? Summer. 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 Okay. Activate the microphone and say, teacher, I like summer or I like winter. I like winter. Okay. I like winter. Nice. I like summer. I like, I like, I like summer. 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 I like winter too. I like winter, yes. I like winter. I like winter. Yes. I like winter. Yes. Yeah. Yes, me too. Yes, in my case, I love I love winter because so it's sunny all the time. We we see the sun in all the time, and also with in winter we have a different season. Uh, it's cloudy. It's sometimes it's cold or cool, and uh, we have a different environment. So, but it's important. Okay. Well, let's continue with the next activity. And we have a conversation. The conversation, it's about a situation. Look at this one. According to the picture, how do you think um, is the weather? Um, winter. Winter. It's winter. 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 Is snow or or rain? It's snow. It's snow. 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 Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the way how they dressed, so you can also appreciate it in the way how they dressed. Como vemos cómo están vestidos, entonces eso también nos indica 
Un tipo yeah. de clima. Yes, a different weather. So let's see, in this case, this part. Veamos de qué se trata. Let's see what this, this conversation is about. Okay, so let me record um, this part of the conversation between Path and Julie. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Por ahí les comparto el, el, el enlace y el, el look at the chat. So you also have this conversation. What's the matter? Hey, ¿Cuál es el problema? O ¿Qué es lo que sucede? What's the matter? It's snowing. Que para decir que está nevando. And it's very cold. Está muy helado y está nevando. It's snowing. Are you wearing your gloves? ¿Estás usando tus guantes? Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Entonces no los han dado. Well, you're wearing your coat. Pero estás usando como el saco, ¿verdad? El que los protege. El abrigo, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? The coat. Eh, estás usando el abrigo. You're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm. O sea que su pues, abrigo no está caliente. And I'm not wearing boots. Y no está utilizando las botas. So that's why suffering because of the weather. I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. So they, that will be more convenient to wear it also. The... You know, the, take the taxi because the weather is like not so friendly. Um, vemos ahí el vocabulario. You can see the vocabulary here. Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica de esta conversation with your partner. Y no solo que lo lea, sino que le trate de dar como un acento diferente. Por ejemplo, usted yo puedo decir en inglés. Uh, what's the matter? Or what's the matter? Uh, it's snowing. And it's very cold. Entonces, pero ¿y por qué no trata de darle un acento distinto? Eh, por ejemplo, darle así como un estilo diferente. No sé, esto puede practicar. En vez de decir, ah, what's the matter? Y si dice, oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's very cold. Entonces, usted va dándole un acento diferente a través de la práctica. Vamos a hacer brevemente, in a briefly way, a conversation. Vamos a practicar con un compañero. Por ahí les mandé al grupo un audio, por si usted se quedó con la inquietud. Lo puede, lo puede escuchar y lo puede practicar también. ¿Es that okay? Yes. Yes. All right, yes. so let's go. I will create the breakout rooms. Y usted va a practicar con su grupo. A ver. Okay, I think it's okay. Así que todos atentos a su pantalla en este momento. Let's try.
Okay, let's taxi. Sorry, okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. Me faltó la línea de abajo. <laughs> and I am not wearing boots. Uh -huh. Ahora, Yolanda. ¿Cuál soy? Inicio. Sí, está bien. Ajá, sí. Está bien. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's, it's now it. And it's very cool. cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is not wear. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Ahora al revés. Ok. Eh, eh, yo entonces... Yo, sí, sí. Ajá. Con Yolanda. Usted empieza. Usted empieza ahorita. Bye. Yo empiezo. Yo empiezo. Bye. Oh no. What's the matter? This is now. And it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is not wearing and I know wearing boots. Okay, let's stay the tax. Thanks, Julie. Ahora no sé al revés con. Ok. Nosotros siempre. Yo. Your wearing your coat. But my coat is warm. And I am not wearing boots. Ok, les. Les. They are taxi. Taxi, sí, sí, sí. Thanks, Julie. Ok, eh, cambiamos. Ajá, correcto. Ok. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's so we. And it's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, there is at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is well and I not wearing both. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Okay. Thanks, Julie. Um, no sé si la otra compañera está. Sí. Es... Ah, sí, Mari. Ok, voy a... si gusta. ¿Mande? ¿Con quién yo voy a practicar? Con Catherine y después conmigo. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, yo soy Pat. Eh... Catherine y María. Uh -huh. Bueno. Oh no. What to what to Mary? It is snowing and it's a very cool. Are you wearing your clothes? No, they are pro at home. Where well, are you wearing your clothes? Mm -hmm. But my cut is uh, it's not isn't warm and um, I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's let's just get taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, cambiemos. 
Oh, no. What's the matter? He's, he's no. He's very cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No. They're, they're home. Well, you you are wearing your coat? Good, my coat is warm. In, I'm not wearing books. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Vaya, ahora voy a hacer bat. Oh, no. What to, what to marry? Uh, it's snow and it's very cold. Are you well went to class? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is a uh, when, when, when. And I'm not wearing boat. Okay, please take, take a taxi. Thank you, Lee. Gracias. Ciao. Bye. Okay, so let's continue with the with the information. So we could see that you know that was a very interesting practice. We practiced the the conversation in English, and that was great, definitely great. So let's continue with the practice, and also don't forget that when we practice, practice, and practice, it would, it sounds like more natural to talk. Eh, la práctica pues hace que pues nosotros hablemos ya un poco más natural. Pero vamos paso a paso en el proceso. Bien, let's continue. And also, we have a topic to share about the present. What is the topic? ¿Cuál es el tema que vemos ahí? What's the topic? Presente continuo. Present continuo. Ajá. Present continuo, negación. Statement. Ah, statements, conjunctions, right? Entonces vamos a utilizar el present continuous. As we know, ¿cómo sabemos el present continuous? Eh, ¿Cómo hacemos el presente continuo? Nos dice que es una acción que sucede en el presente, pero que a su vez es algo que está pasando. Es algo que estamos compartiendo. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Hello? Tengo dificultades para conectarme. Fíjese, se me desconecta y se me vuelve a conectar y así estoy. Um, what is your name? Yanina del Carmen Rosales de Mendoza. Okay. Rosales. Okay. Esperamos que se pueda... Eh... Pueda establecer la conexión, right? Ya que, ya que sí es un poquito complejo, ¿no? Eh, a veces de repente en algunos lugares la señal no es muy buena, en otras sí. Espero que pueda ser presente. Yes, eso, yeah, that's what matters. Eso nos interesa también. Yes, yes. Así que. Pero ya no tomé captura, ya tengo evidencia de que. Que no es mentira lo que le estoy diciendo. Va, no, pues usted diga el internet, no te me vayas a ir. Ok. <laughs> so, that's what we can do. All right, so don't worry. Well, vamos a ver un poquito acerca del present continuous. Le vamos a pedir a alguien eh, que nos lea acerca de las oraciones and 
y la que sigue. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién nos ayuda a leer estas dos primeras? En, I'm not, yeah. You're, you're not, she's wearing shoes, she's not, where, where not, where, they, there, they're not, is, is knowing, is not. Ok, ¿y cuál sería la siguiente opción? La que tenemos acá, ¿quién me ayuda a leerlas? Or. You aren't. You aren't. You aren't. I, you aren't. Sorry. She isn't wearing boots. We aren't. They aren't. It isn't raining. Okay, so, and also, I want you to help me um, with conjunctions. Can you leer las oraciones in conjunctions? It's snowing and it's very cool. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. Okay, thank you so much. Como vemos, para el uso del present continuous, para hablar un poquito acerca del clima, nos dice algo bien interesante. Vamos a utilizar siempre la estructura del verbo ser, del verbo, el pronombre más el verbo to be. Am, eh, como ser, yo soy o yo estoy. You are, she is, we are, they are, it's. Más el verbo que representa, en este caso, el clima, y vemos también eh, el ing, ya que este ing cuando se une al verbo va a significar eh, ando y endo. Por ejemplo, it's snowing. Díganme ustedes, eh, ¿qué significaría it's snowing? Sí, está es... nevando. It's snowing. Exactamente, está nevando. It's snowing. Entonces usamos el it is. Está nevando. It is. Um, luego con la siguiente. It's raining. Está lloviendo. Está lloviendo. Ok. Y it's sunny. Está soleado. Está soleado. soleado. Muy bien. Entonces, vemos que utilizamos el it's snowing, sunny. está nevando, luego and y que esto se le llama conjunction, es una conjunción. Es decir, que esto nos permite unir dos oraciones. Eh, y luego tenemos el I'm wearing a coat. Eh, la palabra wear en inglés significa usar. Esta la ocupamos exclusivamente para ropa. Eh, usted no va a decir eh, cuando yo digo, ah, yo uso un pantalón azul, I use, no, sino que usted va a utilizar wear, porque es exclusivo para ropa. Decimos, and it's snowing and it's very cold. I'm wearing a coat. Estoy, yo estoy, y wearing, usando un abrigo. But, este but significa pero. Este es un conjunction. Es un conjunction. Pero, es decir, nos da la contraparte. I'm not wearing boots. Pero yo no estoy. ¿El qué? Usando botas. Usando botas. I'm not wearing boots. So, vemos ahí. Eh, interesante, miren. Pero veamos más ejemplos acá. Vamos a tratar de eh, ver un poquito más esta estructura. Y eh, ahorita vamos a dar clic acá. Y vemos algunos, algunas ideas. Depende cómo está el clima. Eh, nosotros vamos a tratar de de darle ahí eh, sentido. ¿Ustedes me van a ayudar? Sorry. Eh, quiero que lo vean a simple vista. Vamos a ver. ¿Usted ve la imagen? Y trate de unir eh, la oración con la imagen. Eh, yo les tengo que explicar esto, pero quiero que usted intente encontrar algunas con su conocimiento previo. En In inglés, we call previous knowledge. Try to do it. 
Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let's check. Um thank you. We're going to now compare and also the answer. Vamos a ver, la primera, we can see the pictures. I would use this color. I'm going to use the color red. Um, hmm. uh, what do you see in the first picture? It could be a little bit complicated. You see a boy and also you see a snow. Mm -hmm. Podría ser um, the snow is falling. ¿La nieve está cayendo, está cayendo nieve. o está cayendo nieve? ¿Sería esa? Yes. Yes, yes right. The snow is falling. Yes. Está cayendo la nieve. Entonces yes. la palabra fall, en este caso, es caer. They, 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 cae. So it's, oh. And you can see the second picture. You see like sun. Como que está... Entonces podemos decir the sun is it's shining. shining. It's shining. O sea, que, que el sol está y la palabra shine, que significa brillar, y como le agregamos una ING al final, ahora va a decir brillando, ya que la yeah. palabra ING, que se llama en inglés gerundio, este significa ando y significa endo, ando, endo. Entonces yo digo nevando, snowing, brillando, shining, correr, run, corriendo, running. Entonces vemos ahí, fall, caer, falling, cayendo. Entonces, cuando nosotros le agregamos al verbo el ing, este automáticamente pues lo hace esa estructura. Vamos a ver. Eh, vamos con el siguiente. Eh, vemos ahí el tercero. ¿Qué, ¿Qué podría ser? Dice que hay, es como viento, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, the en inglés sería is blowing. The wind is blowing, right? So we can see here este. Vamos con el tercero no, que hay unos niños que están uh, como nevando o lluvia. They are running outside um, o sería they are playing, they are playing, they are playing, playing in the rain. In the rain. Yeah. Dancing in the rain. Ahí está, miren. Dancing in the rain. La siguiente es like there is a, it's raining, como que está lloviendo, right? So we say that. Eh, she's, she's wearing raining. a yellow coat. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the next one is this one. They it's are running. today. Ajá. Uh -huh. They're running outside. And the last one is this one. It's cloudy today. So you can check the examples here. Vemos ahí el ejemplo of these structures. Quiero que verifique la estructura.
Okay, so let's see here. Uh, equations. Um, decíamos they are running outside. Ellos están corriendo afuera. So they are running. Veamos el siguiente. Look at the next example here. And also, ya hemos aprendido algunas palabras. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo digo yo que está, está nevando? ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Hey. ¿Nevando? Snowing. 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 Ajá. Y cuando digo que está haciendo viento, ¿cómo sería? The wind is blowing. Ajá, eh, the wind is blowing, está soplando, o en este caso también podemos decir windy para referirnos que está haciendo eh, okay. viento, right? It's windy. Y luego tenemos ahí, eh, ¿qué significaba where? ¿Qué significaba ese verbo where? Usando. Exactly. So, okay. Ok. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Let's change to the next one. Ok, so we're going to uh, erase everything here. Ok, un voluntario para que nos lea las siguientes oraciones. We love our sleeping. Ok. Frosty is swimming. The frogs are jumping. The boys are running. The girls are drawing a picture. The cat is eating a mouse. I am listening to the music. It is reading a book. We are playing the guitar. We are climbing a tree. You are singing. Exactly. So, vemos ahí eh, cómo vuelve la estructura. Willows are, uh, en este caso, pues sería willows con plural are sleeping. Frosty is swimming. Eh, swim, de nadar, swimming, nadando. The, frog, the frogs, en este caso, pues are jumping. Pero vamos a... A ver otros ejemplos eh, que quiero que los hagamos juntos. It says complete the sentences then compare with a partner. My name is Claire and I'm wearing a green suit. Y dice a green suit. Today I eh, me está diciendo que, tam que también está usando algo más. It's raining but Ahí tenemos que agregar el verbo wear en la primera orden. Entonces usted lo va a completar con, con esa parte. Después del I'm. Exactly. I am wearing. El, veamos la dos. It's hot today. Tashi and Noriko. Y ahí, me, ahí le vamos a poner que están usando ellos. ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Que están usando shorts pantalones cortos y una camiseta. It's very funny, but they... Ahí usted va a usar is wearing o are wearing. Depende si es plural o es singular. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que ustedes piensen eh, cuál utilizar. I'm wearing, you are wearing, he's wearing, she is wearing, we are wearing, they are wearing. They are wearing. Y ahí lo vamos a ir haciendo. Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que piensen y lo, luego lo hacemos juntos. ¿Ok? Let's do okay. it.
Ok, vamos a aprovechar a pasar la asistencia. So, we will take a time to check the attendance list. Also, don't forget that I always send the presentation. No se les olvide, pues, que tienen eh, siempre las presentaciones by WhatsApp. And also, también en la plataforma está el material para que usted lo pueda también repasar in your free time. So, you can also study this vocabulary. Ya que, pues, hay que aprovechar el material, los recursos and take advantage about the activities. So we're going to check right now the attendance list and also congratulations everybody for staying in the class on time. And I was checking also in the group that we're going to have class tomorrow because the last Monday we didn't have a class because it wasn't a special you know, time. So for that reason, eh, we won't have class. And also, well, we will have class this coming Friday. Así que vamos a ver, escucha su nombre, pues si nos dice presente. Quiero ver. Four, four, four. One second. Four, May 4th. Bien, vamos a ver. Eh, Ana Claudia Mejía. Present. Ana Leticia García. Present. Eh, Camila Alexandra Consuegra. Present. Eh, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Damaris. Eh, David Rafael Ramos. David Rafael. Diana Marcela Cruz. Diana Marcela Cruz. Eh, Fátima Esmeralda Rivera. Fátima Esmeralda. Eh, Fátima Saray Hernández. Present. Eh, Génesis Abigail Hernández. Present. Carla Vanessa Sánchez. Present. Eh, Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. Present. Lady Evelyn Guerrero. Present. Melissa Daniela Ángel. Present. Melvin Balmore Cruz. Melvin. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present. Uh, Miriam Maricel Escobar. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Eh, Rosa María Salazar. Present. Silvia Noemi Campos. Present. Eh, Teresa Yamilet Martínez. Present. Yanira de Carmen Rosales. Present. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. Okay, great job. So let's continue.
Okay, so before we conclude the class, let's compare. Vamos con la número uno. We're, vamos a usar el chat. We're going to use the chat here, the number one. And it says, uh, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit. And today I... Uh -huh. I'm wearing... Wearing... High heels, que en este caso es como tipo zapato de tacón, ¿verdad? It's raining, está lloviendo, but um, I am not wearing. Um, but I, I, I'm not wearing a raincoat. Es decir, que no está usando. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? No está usando. Ajá, ¿verdad? Así como una, un protector para la, para la lluvia. Entonces, I'm not. Vemos ahí the first one. Entonces, nos queda de esta manera, the number one. Let's see the number two. Um, it's hot today. Está caliente hoy. Toshi and Noriko. ¿Qué están usando? They are wearing. They, they are wearing. Okay. They are wearing um, shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny. But they are not wearing. Are not. Not wearing. Are not wearing. Es decir, que ellos no están usando lentes de sol. Lentes sunglasses. De sol. Y vamos con la tercera. Veamos la tercera. Eh, Phil. Is. What? ¿Qué está usando? Is wearing a suit today. He is wearing. ¿Qué está usando él? Pants, pants. okay, he's wearing pants and a jacket. Uh, he's wearing a brown shirt. Está utilizando una camisa café. He's wearing, yes. okay, he's yes. wearing a brown shirt, una camisa café, but he is not wearing, is not wearing, right, uh, a tie. En este caso, no está usando una corbata. La palabra corbata es tied. He is not wearing a tie. Y nos queda de la siguiente manera. Y la siguiente, la número cuatro. Vemos la número cuatro. Uh, it's cold today, but Kathy. Um, ¿Qué pasa con Kathy? It's is not wearing. It's not wearing. No está usando el qué. A coat, right? Coat. Is, ¿Qué está usando ella? She's wearing a sweet shoe. Un suéter. Okay, she's, okay, she's uh, wearing a sweet shirt. Como un tipo sudadera, una camisa sudadera. Gloves, guantes, y, and a hat, un sombrero. And she, ¿está usando botas o no está? She's wearing. Not she's wearing. not. It's not, not wearing, wearing right? It's mm -hmm. not wearing... Uh, Boots, no está usando botas. And she. She's wearing like she's sneakers. Wearing, she's, she's wearing, wearing sneakers. sneakers. Para nosotros, sneakers son como tipos zapatos deportivos o tenis. Los eh, chocolates. Los zapatos. <risa> sneakers. Son como los zapatos deportivos. Ok, students, we will continue tomorrow because the time is actually going fast. So I hope to see you well tomorrow because of the date off we had. And also ready to conclude this part. Ya prácticamente se nos, se nos fue la jornada. Ya nos queda estamos a una semana, you know? Se ha ido rápido el tiempo. No ha sentido ustedes el tiempo. Incredible. Con conocimiento nuevo. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night to all of you. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You too. Tomorrow. Thank you. Take Appreciate care. it. Good night.